Hi everyone, Bobby here. Uh, if you remember a couple weeks ago I showed you an album that um, we were working on um, with Tammy's live events that she has on Country Craft Creations and I have finished my album and I thought I would share with you the finished product project. It turned out so pretty. I used a paper that I had in my stash. Um, she had made hers as a travel or a vacation album using the Rugged by Authentique. But I didn't have that paper pack and I thought, well, I would use this Christmas pack that I had. So I cut a little slot behind the design on this page and I just put a couple of tags back in there. And I added a couple of metal embellishments from Butterbee scraps on there. So I thought it turned out really pretty on the cover. So on the inside, oh, let me show you the spine. It has the Christmas trees on it, and I just tied this ribbon that I had. It's kind of a fluffy yarn. It reminded me of uh, Christmas tree tinsel, and I thought that was pretty on there. And then on the back, I like to put something on the back to finish them off so they don't look like they're forgotten. This one says peace and joy, and then there's a place where you put who it's to or the date or a little note, whatever you want to do. So on this one I've used the Artisan Black cardstock and this paper pad. And I'll have to look it up and see which one it is. Uh, actually, right here it is. Let me show you. I hadn't put it all away yet. It is called North Pole Gazette and it is by, who's it by? Recollections. And then I did use a few sheets of this other one, which is called Seasons Greetings, and it's by Paper Studio. And I used, I know I used this one, and I think I used a little bit of this one. Not too much of that one, but a few pieces. So, on the inside of the cover, we have a tie here. Let me make sure I'm still... Yeah, I'm in frame. Okay. This unties. And this opens this way. So you've got two photo mats here. Then the bottom opens. And you have more photo space. Now I just cut out um, two... I had a die and I cut out two pieces of the red and green. And then I <clears throat> added one of the Butterbee charms on there metal embellishments it's not really a charm I didn't tie that very good kind of sitting at an angle here anyway and then I added a little um, enamel dot in there so on this first page that's the inside of the cover on the first page I have two more corner pieces and I have a corner piece up here as well and um, these metal embellishments are often better be scraps and then I have some enamel dots on this photo mat. Let me make sure it's hard to be in. Let me zoom out just a hair. There, that might be better. So this is the inside of the front cover. Then that's page one. And it opens out from this to this. And then these flaps open up. And you have room for all kinds of embellishments and more photo mats. This was a single side paper. So I left them white on the back thinking that you could always um, chart or document chart on nurse's lingo. You could um, do your memo on the back and put your photo in the front or you can uh, back it with some cardstock. Whatever you desire. And it just closes like that with a magnet. Uh, this one does have an insert, just like that. These are nice big inserts, so you can get quite a bit on them. Then on the back side of that page, I have a couple, three, actually three metal embellishments. These are a silver pewter color, um, but they were a little bit bright for this project, so I took some... Um, where is it? I don't see the darker one. I thought I had it here. Oh, there it is. I first went over it with this 
modeling paste in a silver color and that toned it down a little bit but then I added some of the what does this have a color name it just says marcosite silver and this one's called platinum so I used those two just to kind of tone down the shininess of it and I put it on with my fingers I'm still trying to get it off my hands this little snowflake I already had in my stash so that's one of the few things on here that is not does not come from Butterbee and this is the photo mat from that page then page two also folds out and then we have two little inserts here with more photo space and I added little snowflakes to those I don't know where they came from I've had them forever but I thought they worked fine here and I love this check that's my favorite paper the whole thing and then I just added some enamel dots to this photo mat over here gosh I'm not sure if I'm in frame I'm trying to make sure that I am I have such small space to show you and it we go to the back side of that page and this one is held with a little twine it opens like this for a photo space and then you have a pocket here and I just have a couple more die cuts in there these papers are so pretty and just one loop around then on the next page I have another one of the uh, metal embellishments with the enamel dot and I have three of uh, Butterbee's little flower charms on there with the green enamel dots and that goes in this pocket and then we flip over and we have oops that got caught I guess I didn't let it set up good enough I'll have to fix that that's my fault I didn't have it set up and it stuck to this side okay let me lift it off of there if I can no it ain't gonna lift off I'll fix it in a minute I don't want to put anything more on it and then turn the page we have two cut aparts in here this is just a belly band with a pocket at the bottom then on the next page this is just a pocket here and this slips out and you can put something small in here if you wish and that will hold those in there then it opens out and reveals two more uh, photo mats yeah now you can see that I love this one okay and then let's turn that page over and this one again is held with a little string and a couple of uh, what do you call them thingies uh, brads <laughs> I couldn't think have some enamel dots up here at the top and this opens out and then you have your side pads and you can add all kinds of embellishments um, photo mats journaling I love this paper that's another one that I really like is that pine cone paper and then this little charm the bells I had in my stash for a long time I think I know where it came from but I'm not sure so I'm not going to quote because I don't want to lead you wrong I don't want to tell you something that isn't so and then on the inside of the back cover I have some graphic 45 tags that I made and on the long one I put a little pocket at the bottom and made a little tag to stick in the pocket then we have one of the regular tags and one of them they all have names this is the long one I don't know anyway one's longer and one's fatter if that helps and then at the top I changed what she did on the back inside cover because um, of who I'm giving this to I know that they'll want more photo mats so I added this little photo spread up here so there's just room four pages for photos and then you can add more here if you wish 
and then my little pocket I just tuck these back in and that holds the top shut so that is my album I really like the way it turned out I'm going to leave this open so I can fix that one little corner piece that was my fault I closed it I guess I closed it before it had set up all right that's my album I hope you enjoy it um, if you make one um, let us know and share it on Country Craft Creations. Uh, you will need to be a member of Country Craft Creations Facebook page to get the pattern for this, but she called it rugged. So if you are a member and you want to make this album, just uh, look under the files and the videos for what she called rugged and you'll find this album. Alright, thanks a lot for watching guys. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.